Are development and democratization mutually exclusive or reinforcing one another? What is the relationship between economic growth and democratization? What threats does the illicit financing of elections pose to democracy? And what is the role of civil society organizations and the media in ensuring respect for political rights and holding government to account? Like in most regions of the world, Southeast Asia has to face these challenges. At times it finds the right answers and at times it doesn't. There has been a breakdown of trust um, in the democratic process, uh, mainly because people feel that the democratic process has been captured by an elite and by their institutions. An elite that takes care of itself, takes care of their families and friends, or even their, their support base. But what we want is a democracy and a, a system of governance that takes care of all people, leaving no one behind. And since no single country faces these challenges exclusively, we created a space for discussion for government, academics, civil society representatives, journalists from throughout the region to tackle these challenges head on, learn from each other and create support networks. But there is clearly an attempt to swing the pendulum back toward authoritarianism. There are growing doubt about the necessity and merit of democracy. If this trend gains momentum, it is possible that we will see the reversal of democracy expansion that we have seen in recent decades. Absolutely critical is the expansion of civil society spaces because unfortunately, spacing, spaces for civil society engagement is closing down in many countries that call themselves democratic. So we have to prevent the sliding back of democracy through many of these mechanisms. Participants based in Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, Timor-Leste, the Philippines, Thailand, Myanmar, Vietnam and Cambodia convened, debated and consulted here in Kuala Lumpur for two days. We cannot have a proper democracy if we cannot have a means of communicating with one another. There is a need for this public forum. And the most convenient way to meet and express our opinion is through the media, be it mainstream mass media or social media. And this is the reason why press freedom and freedom of expression is so vital to a functioning democracy and a threat to any autocratic regime in the region. People and societies are not born good citizens or good democracies. It takes time and education. And I think it's about time for people, more people, all people to come into the community. And the only way to bring them in is through the electoral process. And it has to be electoral process that would be legitimate, that people would have uh, confidence in, and that uh, the electoral process that would produce consensus, results, accommodation. The main takeaways of these two days of consultations and debates are captured in our final conference report. So even if you missed your chance to participate or are simply interested in these issues, download your own copy by going on to kofinanfoundation.org. Uh, a mature society like Southeast Asia, we are ready to take that next step forward. Electoral integrity is nothing but a pragmatic step forward an instrument, a ladder for us to move to the next stage of our development. Short of that, the future of the region is not going to be very, very certain. <laughs>